good afternoon. I'm Dante Ferrigno and welcome to my channel. I am coming to you to talk today again about what it's like to be on carnivore diet. Something that just really blows me away all the time with little things that I, I kind of forget after a while because I've been doing so well since I started doing this diet. But this weekend, my wife and kids and I, we had a very exhilarating time. We got to go see the Miami Dolphins play against the New England Patriots, which was a big deal for me for a lot of reasons. I grew up watching the Dolphins. It's a close thing between me and my brothers, and it's just something that was big for us a long time ago that we still have a little nostalgia for. And I love football. Katie loves football. Levi's getting into football. Luke, not so much. But he had a great time at the game. He decided just to go and have fun, and he really did have a great time. The neat thing is, is we had to really prepare for the weekend because I didn't know what to expect as far as eating arrangements. We were going to be staying with a family member of Katie's that was living not too far away from the stadium. So, uh, you know, I don't want to go in and impose on somebody when I'm just staying at their house and they're saving me the cost of having to get a hotel room or something like that. I made sure to bring enough of what I need so that I wouldn't impose on anybody. I packed up four steaks, frozen, ready to go. That would be enough to last Saturday and Sunday, including if I made steak to take with me to the game, which I did. But uh, it turned out being even better than I expected because Katie's cousin decided to go ahead and make steak for all of us that evening. And we had steak on her grill, which came out wonderful. Uh, she only cooked it with kosher salt, so it was absolutely perfect. So we got a great start to our weekend by having Saturday go so well with the great meal because I left, had a uh, steak before we left in the morning. So I was full all afternoon, had that steak in the evening, made two steaks in the morning, one to have for breakfast on Sunday so that I wouldn't be hungry during the game. And then I had another one that I cut up and put into a plastic bag so that I could carry some meat in my cooler with me as I went. I already had a whole ribeye this morning, so I'm ready to go. Plus, I got a whole bag full of another ribeye that I chopped up that I'm ready to take with me. So I got plenty of meat to go on the road. Because I'll eat my steak cold or hot, but I don't want to be starving in a place where I got to pay six, eight bucks for a hot dog and have to try to get a few pieces of meat out of some ridiculously, ridiculously overpriced food. And let me tell you, some of the prices on this stuff were insane. We were having water for five dollars a piece so I don't know something still seems wrong about that to me like you shouldn't have people in a hot situation and then not have water available when I was growing up we had water fountains that was kind of like expected everywhere you went where there was public gonna be gathering so that you'd have something to drink what happened to that in this country anyway five dollars a bottle for water and I was adding relight to them like crazy because uh, I think I went through four, three or four relights yesterday. I can't remember exactly. I know it was at least three. So my steak is finished cooking. I'm gonna let it sit here for a little bit and rest. I made sure to bring some relight because I felt like I was gonna need that. Now, Katie and the boys, they didn't really restrict their drinking to anything other than whatever, you know, pretty much they wanted. So they had some Gatorade. Uh, the boys had some sodas while they were there. All things that I would have recommended against, but I mean, I'm, I'm trying to encourage them down the right path, not necessarily force them down the right path. But one thing I noticed was, is my wife even said it to me. Doesn't it feel good to wanna do everything on time and quickly and outside the heat? Like you have, you have been nonstop on the go. You haven't even sat down on think for five minutes. Recorded it at the game but just in case you can't hear it there uh, what she said was is normally when we would go anywhere I was the one who always wanted to have to stop and rest to take a break but we had been going I woke up at 4 30 that morning I got everybody else up about 6 30 we were on the road by 7 30 I drove us there we spent all the time out there in the Sun several hours bef just before the game started Katie said to me usually you're the one who needs to stop and take a break by now but you're bouncing around all over the place going to everything and just as active as you can be not taking a rest not staying off your feet participating in, in exercise stuff with the boys they need a break I need a break 
why don't you need a break? And I said that when we used to go anywhere, especially like if we were going to go hiking or something like that, anywhere she's like, let's go, let's go hiking. I'm like, I don't want to go hiking. I don't want to go do anything that requires energy or sweat. Now it's like it doesn't matter. We've been here three hours waiting for this game to start. It's and I wanted to degrees. sit down twice, and he doesn't want to sit down at all. I want I'm to like, keep going. five minutes, maybe. So, I owe it all to this diet and exercise. I just don't want to waste my time. I decided I want to say, screw it. I'm going to get up and do it. We're here. We might as well enjoy it. And I felt like doing it. But that was the amazing part, is that I felt like doing it. I felt like pressing on when it was hot, when it was you know, rough situations where you're having to trudge through, you got a long way between bathrooms, all your, your food is, is regulated into what you can get, it's expensive, you're not sure exactly where you are or where you're going, I mean the stadium's huge, there's lots of confusion, it, it can be stressful times to some people, at least it was always stressful to me in the past when I felt like I was just having to get through a rigmarole, but I was having a good time. I was looking to see what was happening. We got Levi to get his face painted, and then we went over and did the uh, the exercise thing. Not the exercise. It was more like a it was more like a combine experience where you get to do some of the races. And and Luke and I got to race. Which Luke is 15 years old. I'm about to be 50. So you would think that possibly he's going to be able to beat me at some of this. And I wound up winning the the sprint relay. I won the the long jump. But I had a great time. And it's something that I would not have been able to do two years ago. Not the way I did this weekend. Where I was able to just to keep soldiering on without any problems at all. I mean, it was remarkable how good I felt during the game. The sun was not hitting us initially when we sat in the stadium. It was actually a couple rows down when the game started. But as the day goes on, the sun moves slowly up the side of the stadium we were on. And by the end of the first quarter, we were fully in the South Florida sun on a 90 degree day. And boy, was it hot. It was so hot. But I didn't have on any sunscreen. I don't have any sunburn today. I'm, I'm well, you know, I got a lot of sun, but I don't have any burning going on. I feel great. I mean, I can see the difference. I'm willing to go out in the sun now without sunscreen on because I don't get sunburn like I used to. So it worked out to be a great time. Um, on top of the Dolphins winning the game, which was a, a heck of a bonus, Luke even got a special because his birthday was so recent or something. It was kind of confusing. I, talked, I called up to talk to the parking attendant at the stadium to find out some information on what we can and can't do at the stadium. And I mentioned that it was Luke and Levi's first game, so I could tell she, she made a note like, oh, okay, like that tugged at her heartstrings, but I wasn't trying to do anything like that. I just mentioned it was their first game and that we were coming. I wanted to make sure I did the day right. So uh, she said, okay, well, let me make a note of something. And then when we were at the stadium, she actually came up to my seat and had some gifts for the boys for being their first game. It was their first game to go to, and they had a great time. So they got some free sunglasses and some free, uh, uh, like, uh, sunscreen, not sunscreen, free sleeves, these dolphin sleeves that they wear on the field so that they keep the sun off of them and keep from getting hurt. Uh, they got, got the wristbands and the headband I was wearing in some of the video that you'll see here. And a license plate cover to go around my Dolphins license plate, which is perfect. So, it was a special day. And as far as getting to meet some of the players, the boys got to meet re retired players Charlie Babb from the 70s and Lorenzo Hampton from the 1980s. And uh, then Levi stayed with me after the game where the players come out. And Jerome Baker was the only player that took the time to not walk straight to his car, but to come over and meet the fans. And he got he met Levi and signed the helmet for him, and it was a heck of an experience. Levi had a great day. Luke had a great day. Katie had. We all had a great day. But man, was it awesome to be able to have such a day like that and not be dead at the end. Especially considering I had to drive home from Miami to Central Florida, so it was a five-hour trip. 
let, rest assured, I was tired by the end of the night. And that's one of the reasons why it took me a day to get this video out. I kind of needed today to recover. Today's Monday, the day after the game. I have been exhausted today, but I feel better. I will say that it was, um, I woke up this morning and I had both calves cramp at exactly the same time and they would not release. I mean, it was a real muscle spasm. And I was trying to get my feet to point backwards, but they were forcing themselves to point forward. So even with all the electrolytes I got, salt, lack of salt might have been an issue that I woke up with this morning. So I made sure to get started on some breakfast with some electrolyte mix in my water and also had some Sole water with my regular water, salted my steaks, and I'm feeling good again. I don't know for certain that salt is the cause of the muscle cramps or lack of potassium, lack of uh, sodium, but that's kind of the speculation from what I can see online that causes those muscle cramps. That was the only time I've ever had cramps like that where my calves just went, ugh, because I really dehydrated myself yesterday. Even though I did drink a lot of water, I was probably losing it faster than I was replacing it. And as far as the workout goes, yesterday's workout was one heck of a workout. Just trudging around all day long like that in the hot sun, carrying my own body was plenty of work. I must have sweated at least, a, I don't know, I sweat, I, I was pouring sweat, as you can see from some of these pictures. So all in all, it was a great weekend, made possible by the grace of God, and made possible for me to enjoy by Lion Diet. That's all I got for today. I'll see you guys next time. If we pay extra, could we maybe get some grease or fat?